Hi, I'm Karen Wilson Edmonds from Karen Yoga Life. And today I wanted to demonstrate a posture that's done in many, many different types of yoga classes. It's certainly done in my gentle yoga class. It's called cat cow. So there are a couple different ways you can do this posture. You can do it seated on the floor, like I'm seated. You can do it in a chair, or you can do it on hands and knees. Now the purpose of this posture is to strengthen the muscles of your back, your arms, but it's also really good for increasing or maintaining the flexibility in your spine all along the spine, from the top of the head, the neck going all the way down to the base of the spine. So today I'm going to show you the version that's done on hands and knees. But if you have sensitive wrists or shoulders or elbows and you don't want to put any pressure on the wrists, you can do the seated version of this posture, which I also have done a video about. So today we're going to do the hands and knees uh, variation. So let's get started. So I'm going to use a blanket underneath my knees because for a lot of people, the knees are sensitive and the floor is hard. So you want to have something to cushion the knees, especially if you have joint pain or any knee sensitivity, it's a good idea to put something under the knees. So you're just going to bring the knees onto the blanket and you want your knees hip width apart. So the knees in line with the hip bones and parallel, and you want your hands right underneath your shoulders. So look at where your wrists are and just make sure that the wrist is right underneath the shoulder. The hands are spread out. The fingers are spread on the floor. The crease of the wrist is parallel to the mat. The middle finger is pointing forward and you're spreading the fingers, pressing into the floor. And then look between the knees. Do you see your feet? If you can see your feet, you want to open the feet a little wider so that your feet are in line with your knees so you can't see your feet. So this is our starting position. You want to gently engage the core so you pull the belly button to the spine so you're not sagging down into the shoulders. You're pushing away from the floor you're pulling the belly button in, you're engaging the shoulders, so you're actively engaging the muscles around the shoulders, the hands. It's almost as if you're trying to plug the top of the arm bones into the shoulders. So you're pressing the upper arm bones together, but keeping the top of the arm bone, the humerus, in the socket. So this is our starting position. So from here, on an inhale, you're going to look up, take the head up, take the chest forward, let the butt go up, arch up, let the shoulders stay down the back, coming in up to an arched position. So this is cow pose, arching, extending the back, and then you're rounding on your exhale, coming back through neutral, dropping the head, pull the belly button in, push the hands away, and you're rounding the spine here. This is cat pose, or some people call it angry cat. So we're just going to move with our breath. We're inhaling, chest comes forward, head goes up, but you're not looking all the way up. You're just looking slightly up. The head is in line with the rest of the body, so you're not cricking your neck. And exhale, rounding, push the floor away, rounding the spine. So keep going, inhaling, arching up, exhale, rounding, pull the belly in as if you're lying over a big beach ball, inhaling, arching, exhaling, rounding. So just keep moving a few more times with your own breath, inhale, arching, Exhale, rounding. And then coming back to center. Good. Okay, so that was seated, that was cat cow on hands and knees or tabletop. So from here, we're going to go into our child's pose. So you're just going to bring the toes together, 
open the knees wide and then just bring the hips back down to the heels extend the arms out in front of you and drop the head down so this is one version of child's pose the knees apart toes together arms resting on the floor So from here, you're just going to walk your hands back in, bring the knees back together, and sit back. So there are many other variations of child's pose, which I will show in another video. And there are also other variations for cat-cow. But that's what I wanted to share with you today, so you can try out this variation and let me know if it works for you. Thanks a lot, and please leave your comments below.